Hello everybody, welcome to a new video. My name is Avi and I read books and today I got for you guys my September TBR. Uh, I kind of did it a little differently and I realized after filming my cards clips that <laughs> I um, filmed it like probably the wrong angle because I was filming it for um, TikTok also because I wanted to make a TikTok out of it and then I realized making two wrap up uh, tbrs is just a little more difficult so um bear with me i have already picked my books i have already picked my cards in case you don't know i have these tbr cards that i use um well i have more of these but these are the ones that i picked and then the random prompts that give me and i'm gonna try and pick books for it so the first card i picked out was read the most recent book on your shelf and for that i chose how to kill your family by abella mackie and this one i think i purchased like a week or two ago so it's really recent and i have no clue if i like it or not i saw it in multiple colors i saw it also in a blue cover but pink is my favorite color so obviously i was going for the pink one and it's a thriller and i think adult or young adults i don't even know i just read the back of it and i was like yeah i'm gonna read that <laughs> So they say you can't choose your family, but you can kill them. Meet Grace Bernard, daughter, sister, serial killer. Grace has lost everything and she will stop at nothing to get revenge. And the next card I picked was to read a book that was made into a TV series. For this one, I had multiple I could choose and I only realized right now that I had a different one on my 10 books I need to finish this year list that I could chose. But I chose to read, we always have uh, Summer by Jenny Han. I'm not sure if the third book is already in, made into a series. I know the second season of the series came out this summer, but I just started reading these books this summer and I was really planning on finishing that one in August, but I didn't. Um, so I am gonna put it, post, uh, push it back to September which is still somewhat summer, like it's summer until the 21st of September, so I still have 21 days. Um, I did like the first one, I did like the second one. Um, they were really fast reads, so I'm pretty sure I'm gonna like this one too. This is actually about Belly, and the first one is The Summer is Very Pretty, by the way, and that is about Belly who goes to the same vacation home every single uh, summer with her brother, her mother, and the well, vacation home I'm calling it is actually her mother's best friend's home with her sons are also there and they always spend summers together every year and the first book is actually a little bit of a back and forth between Belly right now who's maybe starting to have feelings for one of the sons of her best friend, mom's best friend but also Belly throughout the years and that's actually the foundation that is built in the first book. Next up, I chose read a book with two characters on the cover, and I didn't really have any uh, books that I wanted to pick for this one, uh, for sure. Like some other books that was in mind that I had in mind that I really wanted to read, but I just didn't read. And this one was one that I still want to read because I liked it the first one, but it's just it's starting to get a little bit of a backlist. Although I just bought it, I think September last year, so it's still okay for my doing. And let us take a hint, Danny Brown by Tani Brown? No, by Talia Hibbert. It's from the Brown Sisters trilogy, but I do know you can read them all separately because they're more like companion and not really following up. Like this is a different sister. So you do meet the sister from the first one, which is Get a Life, Chloe Brown, but it's not like completely the same story. This is the second one, so Danica Brown knows what she wants. Professional success, academic renown, and an occasional role in the hay to relieve all the career-driven tension. But romance? Been there, done that. Burned to t-shirts, so Danny asks the universe for the perfect friend with benefits. When brooding security guard Safir Ansari rescues her from a workplace fire drill gone wrong, it's an obvious sign. PhD student Danny and ex-rugby player Zaf are destined to sleep together. But before she can explain that fact, a video of a heroic rescue goes viral. Now half of the internet is shipping Dr. Rugby and Zaf is begging Danny to play along. 
And Nanny's plan is simple. Fake a relationship in public, seduce Seth behind the scenes, but Grumpy Seth is secretly a romantic. And he's determined to corrupt Danny's stone-cold realism. With every fake date and midnight meeting, Danny's easy lay becomes more complex than her thesis. Has her wish backfired? Or is the universe waiting for her to take a hint? I do like fake dating um, tropes. So I'm not the biggest romance reader, but I do like fake dating or enemies to lovers. I kind of like, but I'm more into fake dating and like the fun aspects of dating. <laughs> so I am in actually more curious about this one than I was at the first one. And I think the first one was more enemies to lovers. So. Then I picked a read a book by a female author. This one was so easy and so difficult um, all at once because <laughs> I have almost only female authors I saw on my TBR, which is amazing because, you know, women represent, represent. But that made it really difficult because there were multiple books that I wanted to read and multiple series I want to catch up on. And um, I decided to go with The Final Gambit by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. Maybe I should hold up, right? <laughs> I'm sad that I have the ugly cover. Or I call this cover the ugly cover. Um, I like the other covers more. But I bought the first one in this cover and then the second one in the other cover because I thought I had the pretty covers and now I have bought this one in this cover and now I'm sad that I just didn't buy this one in the pretty cover and the first one just swapping it out once, but never mind. Uh, the inside is per is perfectly great I am already pretty sure of that because I gave I think the inheritance James five stars and the Hawthorne legacy I gave four stars so it's one of my favorite series right now it's mystery it's thrilling it's exciting it's fun and things are unraveling and I have no clue why I haven't been reading um, this series a little faster I think it's because my I'm trying to narrow down my CBR that I'm getting to my series quicker because those are the ones that mostly stay on my TBR for longer periods of time. So. so this is the Inheritance Games, which is the first one. She came from nothing. Avery has a plan. Keep her head down. Work for a better future. Then an eccentric billionaire dies, leaving her almost his entire fortune. And no one, least of all Avery, knows why. They had everything. Now she must move into the mansion she inherited. It's filled with secrets and codes and the old man's surviving rel relatives. A family hell-bent on discovering why Avery got their money. Now there's only one rule. Winner takes it all. Soon she is caught in a deadly game that everyone is in the strange family is playing. But just how far will they go to keep their fortune? It's a mystery right up my alley. And the second one, I really enjoyed too. Like I got into that story and I have read the first one, I think one and a half years ago. So I was afraid that I wasn't going to remember enough for reading the second one. But I did fell into the story and I enjoyed it so much so that's why I'm reading the third one because it's still fresh and I want to continue and I think if I'm correctly this year or maybe one of these months there's a fourth one coming out so maybe I can finally catch up on a series <laughs> and then the last book I chose was a read a blue cover or a book with a blue cover this one was difficult because I realized I didn't have blue covers or like I had one but that one was a third in a series so that means I have to read the second one first which is not a bad thing to finish a trilogy and I did enjoy the first one also over a year ago but I just didn't really think that I could fit an extra book on it because yeah, August has been a bit rough so I have no clue how September is gonna go. So I decided to continue on in a different series, which is Escaping from Houdini uh, by J Carrie Maniscalco. Um, I'm realizing this is the second Mar Carrie Maniscalco book I'm going to read or attempt to read because I'm also um, participating in a book club and I'm going to try to read uh, The Kingdom of the Wicked, I think it is, of her. But it's on my e-reader and it's not really on my TBR because I'm not sure if I'm going to do it or not. I'm going to see how I feel about it. So that's why I haven't really been putting it on my TBR because it's a loose TBR. <coughs> and these are the books that I'm definitely going to try to read. So Escaping from Houdini is the third book, if I'm correctly, of the Stalking Jack the Ripper series, which is a, an, 
historical horror thriller mystery well not necessarily a mystery no i think it's an historical thriller slash maybe a little bit of a horror aspect in it from some places and it also takes place with like actual historical figures obviously jack ripper houdini and dracula i think if i'm correctly so i'm gonna also grab the first one really quickly to talk to you guys about what that's what's that about so this is the first one stalking jack the ripper and he murdered a woman in cold blood. He's terrorized an entire city. He has haunted those of us who hunted him down. But despite all these horrors, in the end, I could not deny it. I was the girl who loved the Ripper. So it's not really a romance, although it, it kind of makes it feel like a romance. It's not. <laughs> it's actually um, more of a thriller, I guess. So these are all the books I want to read in September, which is my September TBR crate. Uh, I still have a lot of space for extra books, obviously, but I'm going to keep it with five currently because I've been on a good reading um, month, but um, I'm also not going to try to push myself into a reading slump or anything else. I'll see if I read more. I'll see if I read less. I maybe have a week off. I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to take that week off in September. So maybe if it's a good week, I can read a lot. Because like I said, I've been really in a good reading mood, and lately I've been reading a lot. Okay, never mind. These are the books I'm going to read in September. I'm way off track right now. Well, if you like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. Leave down in the comments below what book you really want to read in September, and I will talk to you soon. Bye!